Restaurant Unstoppable. Inspire, empower, and transform the industry. Whatever energy you come into a room, it has to be the highest because you're gonna people will meet you in the middle. Yeah. They'll probably bring you down a little bit, and that's natural. Mm-hmm. But you're gonna bring them up, yeah. right? So you have to be a fuck yeah. Yeah, you I, know what? And you know what you reminded me of too when you talked about enthusiasm. Um, I, I have a little saying too that goes: "There's no enthusiasm like new enthusiasm." <laughs> and man, if you think about that, you know, you bring on that like new manager who's just like, "Woo, let's do this!" You know, <laughs> and they're like a cheerleader, and you're like, "Fuck yeah, man!" Yeah. Like, look at that dude go. Like that's new enthusiasm, mm-hmm. you know? So, you know, sometimes you need that new enthusiasm, you know, whether it's a new location, that's, you know, it's total slam dunk or, you know, you're at your opening or you're just hiring somebody new. Um, I think that's know. what happens when you create growth and opportunity for others, right? You create that opportunity for new enthusiasm, totally. but yeah. it has to be the right growth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, okay. So we, I think we unpacked that really well. Uh, then the other thing we talked about is you got rid of the food, the two food trucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the thought process behind that? So, you know, food trucks are, I, I look at food trucks in, in two different directions. You know, one in the aspect of like you own your food truck or your company owns your food truck and it's a profit center, mm-hmm. right? And on the other side, you have a food truck and it's a marketing vehicle, literally a marketing vehicle, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, and there's two whole different ways to look at a food truck and I'll, I'll kind of dig into both here. First, you know, you have, you know, a food truck that's part of your restaurant and to have a functioning food truck, you have to have and this is somebody who's had food trucks for 12 years now, Um, you have to have somebody running that food truck. You almost have to have a food truck manager if you want this thing to be a profit center, if you want it to be just like a location, right? That thing has to prove its worth. It has to be out on the road five to seven days a week. It has to be staffed just like a regular restaurant. It has to be managed just like a regular restaurant. And not to mention, your staff has to have a different skill set because not only does it have to know everything that they have to know to run a restaurant, they know they have, they have to know all the things uh, to manage a twenty year old step van. <laughs> so a mechanic. <laughs> uh, they have to be a kind of a mechanic, yeah. right? And they have to be a, an incredible troubleshooter because or these things have so many moving. At least some type of engineer. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, if you have a food truck and you're just going to say, "All right, I'm going to get this food truck and we're going to blend it into the restaurant," and then you know the manager at this restaurant is also going to manage the food truck. And that staff is going to manage that, all right? And you expect that thing to be a profit center and not just a marketing vehicle, all right? You're setting yourself up for failure there because this thing to be its own standalone, you know, revenue producing thing that's going to bring you in a few hundred thousand dollars a year, that thing has to be manned specifically for a food truck, right? On the other side, and you'll see bigger brands that have food trucks treat it like this, and that's the marketing vehicle, right? Where that thing could be parked three months out of the year, but it's during right big spot. events, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, they could be parked behind their location. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's not necessary to be out every day. Got right. It, got it. So, you know, when your food truck is a marketing vehicle, so like I said, big brands, like we have white castle that is uh, uh, Columbus based as well. They have a food truck and you never really see the, you know, white castle food truck out because it doesn't need it. Do they just, start in Columbus? Uh, they didn't start in Columbus, but they've been headquartered here for, you know, pretty much their entire existence. Because I, I, I just noticed that like the the White Castles in Columbus are much nicer than anywhere else. <laughs> well, they should. Be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they should be. Their corporate headquarters is yeah. about three. Do- three yeah, that's the one that I way. saw. I was like, wow, that's a really nice White Castle. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, keep going. Um, so anyway, you have like your food truck is a marketing vehicle, and that's just you know they, they go out for big events, they go out for you know like special you know events and parties and whatever, uh, but it doesn't need to produce revenue because it's just a marketing vehicle. And yeah. then at that point, yeah, then you can borrow a manager from you know a restaurant that you know has is a little bit savvy with you know driving a big vehicle or you know whatever. So you know, there's, I think there's two real big ways to look at a food truck. It, it either has to be, and, and it's kind of binary. I really think it is like it's either a marketing vehicle, and you don't expect that to be a profit center, or it's a profit center and it needs its own team yeah. to be to be successful as a normal restaurant. So on the marketing side, it's more of like the an experience creator. You know, you're there to totally. generate an experience and the kind of a wow factor, yep. and, and that's what it's there for to kind of bust in like the Kool Aid man and like make a big scene, right? Exactly. If yeah. it, if it makes you know. 1200 bucks at an event. Cool. If not, if you're just giving away things, that's cool too. It's yeah. served that purpose is to get people excited that haven't, or that have yet to reach your brand. So based off you're the bringing de- your brand to the people. So based off the decisions you made, I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that you're looking at these food trucks now less as a money generator, operational element of your brand. And you're more of a, a marketing tool now. Correct. Now okay. our, yeah, exactly. So our food truck, the one we have is still out, seven days a week, 
like we still have a manager of it. We still have a team that, you know, is basically the food truck team. It's like our motorcycle gang. Yeah. Like it really is like the guys that run, <laughs> the guys that run our food truck are badass. <laughs> they are, they are like a leather clad motorcycle. Is gang. it out there right now today by any chance? Do you know uh, it's, some, yeah, I mean, it's somewhere. I, yeah, wanna, I don't know. I want to hunt today. it down and maybe grab some photos before I get out of here. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's, I'll, I'll find it for you, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's out today for sure. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a badass crew, man. <laughs> so, um, so when it comes to using a food truck, like a marketing vehicle, what are the best practices? It, you know, I don't, as far as just like, you know, use, well, here's the thing. I, I don't know if you need to have that many best practices because, you know, the thing is just, you know, an, a, kind of an ancillary part of your brand, right? It's yeah. on the periphery. It's just an extension of the brand that happens to be on wheels that you can take, you know, to, to places that you want to expand your brand experience with. Yeah. Right. So, um, you know, as far as best practices go, I, I don't know if there are any, you know, I, I like to take it out to everywhere. You know, that yeah. was, that was part of our brand building in the very beginning was making sure that, you know, we had, and we didn't try to get in the food truck revolution. We just wanted something on wheels. This yeah. is 12 years ago when we decided to get a food truck. So, um, you know, this was way before like the food truck craze. I mean, I think they were just on the edges of the country at that time and, or the taco trucks that, you know, kind of, you know, still hung out there, but there wasn't a food truck craze. We got in just because we wanted to take our brand to festivals. Yeah. And it ended up being, we ended up being one of the first ones, at least in our area to have like a, f like a, a boutique food truck. Um, Got it. So it's, it's been a really fun evolution to go from a team of food trucks down to just one now and it's still out. So it's, it's kind of like a hybrid of what you talked about. It's a, it's a money making machine and it's also an, like a, a marketing machine. But when you don't have any events or things, if when you're not trying to make a scene, when you're not trying to use it as a marketing tool, it's out there generating revenue. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a revenue generator for us right now. I would say it's like 70, 30. So 70% is a, it, that is a revenue generating thing. We just don't expect a lot out of it at this yeah. point. Um, and 30% is just, you know, if there's an event thing. today. It's, it's at that event. Totally. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm.